Breaking news. Arrest Sunday Igboho. Yoruba group tells federal government. Who are these Yoruba group? And who are those ensuring that people hear that Yorubas are calling for the arrest of Sunday? Remember when this whole, when Sunday became more prominent was when he went to your state and in a particular region, a particular area in the metropolis, there are these Fulanese who have turned themselves to lords and were harassing people, will even arrest people into their house, kill some, rape the women, destroy their farmland, took over their lands. And this was becoming unbearable. So the people of the land were the ones who cried out to Sunday and said, please, you are a son of the soil. Come and help us. Why would, you, why would we have somebody like you? And something like this is happening to us. Sunday Boho came. He came there to assist. And he gave an ultimatum of a week notice for them to leave. They thought he was joking. A week later, Sunday was there. And he evicted the people. After evicting them, his fame spread abroad. The federal government were all over him. And guess what? The IGP of police then, Adamu Garuba, has already issued his arrest. But Yoruba leader said, if you try it, you want to set Nigeria ablaze. That was what saved Sunday. As if that was not enough, Sunday was on his way to Ibadan on one of those journeys. And guess what? They tried to arrest him, which also Yoruba leaders spoke against. Right now, they are using people of his household talking about the Yoruba race. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Yoruba groups has called on DSS, Nigerian military, and all to clamp down on Sunday Boho and arrest him immediately. Why AF, that is Yoruba Affairs Group, advised that Yorubas should resist IPOB and the agent brainwashing them for infiltrating into their rank, has called on the federal government to arrest Sunday Boho immediately. A Yoruba organization, Yoruba Appeal Forum, YAF, has faulted the agitation by a group leader by one Mr. Sunday Adeyemo, a.k.a. Sunday Igboho, that Yoruba land should leave Nigeria, describing such move as treasonable and unpardonable. They said Unandi Kanu and Gamu has been leading agitation to divide Nigeria. Sunday has joined, and they are asking the federal government to tackle this immediately before he go it goes any further. Speaking at a protest rally in Adui Kitty on Thursday to contain to contain the agitator, one additional anima shamu spearhead the vow the talk and the protest and said we don't want violence in the southwest, southeast, and in the south south. In recent time, this group of people has been calling for the division of the country. We urge the federal government, police, and men of Nigerian police and other security agencies to take active steps and stop this Yoruba independence agitation from the freedom fight that they, before they set the country ablaze, Mr. Deshino has said. So these are the people who should, you know, and guess what? They want to leave Sunday in a porous position. Because once they can get Sunday into a corner and they can tell him, man, you are alone or your people do not support you, you are on your own, guess what happened? They've broken the ranks. And as soon as the ranks are broken, you know, things fall apart when the center could no longer hold. This is what is happening. You know, um, yesterday we also reported to you that the CP, which is the Commissioner of Police in uh, Oshun State, has sent a strong message to Sunday telling Sunday that Sunday must not come and they must not come for any rally in Oshun. As if that is not enough, that was what happened in Ogun State. But it was a peaceful rally. People were out there, you know, to, to, to express that they want to leave Nigeria. It was a peaceful one until about 4 p.m. A particular uh, policeman came and shot four bullets. Thankfully, did not hit anyone. Now, this is another plot being spearheaded by people of the race because they know that some Yoruba leaders are with Sunday. So the, the what your enemy does to you is use your people against you. Do you get that? You, you get that? Yes. They use your people. By the time your own people tells you that they are not backing you up, guess what? You feel deflated. Mm. You are deflated and you feel like, okay, maybe these people don't want to, I mean, they don't want freedom. Why should I bother myself? 
I should just stay on my own since, I mean, it is what it is. And everybody will go into their share. And guess what? Along, we say, why men slept? The Fulanis will come and do what they want to do. And kidnapping, you know why they are harassing and, you know, continuing with what they are doing in the Southeast. They want to eradicate ESN so that they can have a field day and nobody will be, will they will be able to work unhindered. Nobody will tell them what you are doing is wrong. No youth, they would have eliminated everybody, would, would be able to, you know, at, you know, antagonize them and say, no, what you're doing is wrong. We don't accept it. These are the plots. Don't be deceived. There is more to this than beneath the eyes. Hmm? There is more to it. And Sunday Boho, my brother, I would just advise you, just know that you, you, people of your own household are part of your uh, is it enemy now? We we'll call them people of your own household. Okay, they are part of those who do not uh, who, because of money. Uh -huh. Because of money, so don't think that uh, some of them are not your enemy really. But um, you know, uh, you know, they are just who they are. Money calls poverty. So you can see that these people they are set in their ways. You know, I mean, if you look at what is going on in the country, you are very sure, you know, 300 percent that there are people and all this they are talking about. Really, it was just a group of people. This happened in a kitty state. Yes, some people came and said, uh, no, we cannot allow uh, Sunday Boho to mislead us. Excuse me. When you were being kidnapped and killed, which of these people came out? Go and check out what is going on in the southeast. The government of Nigeria is looking out for the men of the Southeast to, you know, deal with them. But they've not dealt with the ones that they know. Oh, you don't understand what's going on, my dear. Gamil is the one who is, you know, taking money to the to the to the to the to these guys. Nobody has gone to confront him. He knows them. He knows where they are. He's telling the federal government, bring out this money, do this, do that. But he's not advising the people to do the right thing. You see, and the federal government out of their own sentiment, you know, is my religious, is a, is a religious clergy, is this, is that. It's not making them say the truth. And Nigeria is where it is today because of incompetencies of our leaders. And now, because of money that has been given to a few people, they started again. Guys, be wise. You know that the battle is, is brought to the gates. They will use your own people against you. It's part of the strategy. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news. We really appreciate you. Have a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.